I'm wearing a monkish shirt. Most of my, I would say most of my wardrobe is probably beer clothes. <laughs> My name is Ting Su. I'm one of the co-founders here at Eagle Rock Brewery based out of Los Angeles. My name is Jeremy Robb and I'm one of the owners, founders of Eagle Rock Brewery. Late 2009, we were the first in the city limits of LA to open a brewery in, from what I hear, 50 to 60 years. We wanted Eagle Rock Brewery to be a legacy. We wanted to help build this legacy as well, not only for us and as a business, but for this community, for the city of LA. My dad started home brewing in like the early 90s. I was in high school, so I just thought it'd be fun to jump in and, and help out. For me, being a music editor previously, I felt like the sort of era of having a legacy in that industry was starting to be lost. And so it just seemed like I wanted to do something that would last a little bit longer. So he and his dad started kind of having pipe dreams and talking about uh, opening a brewery one day. I just established the DBA for him and said, do it. If you're ever, if you're ever gonna do it, now's the time to do it. Stop talking about it, start doing it. I was a pediatric physical therapist for uh, about 10 years. I was still practicing um, when we opened our doors. My day would start at 6 a.m work for nine hours at the day job, come straight to the brewery, and essentially just work until midnight, one o'clock in the morning. It tests your convictions a little bit, so to speak. <laughs> I do love beer. I love the industry that we're in. It's a great community, and I think that once we got further along into it and I fell in love with that, that's, that's when I realized that I could convince myself to change careers at that point. When we first opened up, I mean, it was actually kind of challenging for us to convince bar owners to bring on a beer that was brewed in LA because they're just like, why, like what, what? There was a, a bit of a learning curve for the consumer, for bar owners, and even for us in, in figuring out strategies and convincing people to taste it. Don't knock it until you tried it. The LA community is really tight-knit. I think that because of the fact that we've kind of launched into a craft beer revolution in such a short period of time, all the players know each other, everybody's friends, we all seek support from each other because of the fact that when you're opening a brewery, you're basically just getting your ass handed to you. One of the things that we've worked really hard as, as a community in LA is trying to convert people to beer drinkers, to craft beer drinkers. I think it's just one of those things where it's just kind of educating, educating people. And so it contributes to how tightly knit the LA beer community is because we're kind of all in it together in the sense it's just like we're all basically trying to convert people. We're not gonna convert people with, uh, with mediocrity. I was the first brewmaster, but we all did everything. We wore all the hats, deliver the beers and do the invoices and work behind the bar, clean the toilets, all that stuff. Working with family is a, it's a trip. Together, you know, it's just like you can kind of overcome a lot. All of that added stress in life and things like that, you know, it's just like if you're there with a family member, it's just, you'll get through it. The typical Eagle Rock customer is somebody that, that has a passion for quality and somebody that has a passion for learning. It doesn't necessarily have to be somebody that knows a lot about beer or knows anything about beer but somebody that is open-minded, willing to learn, and eager to seek out new experiences and, and new, new flavors. As long as there's beer, everything's fine.